the Core 2 processors come in a single, uh, dual, and a quad core option. And the max, I believe, is 3.33. And this is a very high and very stable gigahertz. So, um, it's super fast. Again, that's the Core 2s. And beside from their high gigahertz speed, they have crazy high amounts of cache. And this is pretty much the best processor you can get for a dollar right now. So again, the Core 2 processors is the processor I would highly recommend. It's what I build every computer with. It's the best processor you can get for your dollar. And uh, that's it. Just go out and buy some. Now, if you have tons of money to blow and you want the best processor there is out there possibly, then you need to get the i7 processor. This is the latest and the greatest from the Intel. All i7s have four cores and eight processing threads, which makes the i7s the most beastly beast on the market. Not even Intel or AMD, this is the best processor you can get for a personal computer right now. However, they're uh, like over $1,000, so unless you have that kind of money, then I uh, wouldn't even worry about getting an i7. But just in case you wanted to know some of the specs on it, they have 8 megabytes of cache, which is extremely high. And 2.93 gigahertz can pretty much handle anything you throw at it. And if you get an i7, pretty much this processor is going to be waiting for all your other components or your internet or whatever downloads to catch up with it. So the i7 is the top of the line, but I would recommend again the Core 2 processors, the best processor you can get for your dollar. So that is my overview for the Intel processors. If you want to see a visual review of this, I'm going to put a link in my description box and again that's the newboston.com. Make sure to go there and register. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys learned something, and I will see you next time.